Look at, watch, like look at the helicopter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, trying to shoot people. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Mission accomplished. Good work. I'm so rewinding. Tom, are you ready? Tom? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, it tastes the same. It doesn't taste the same. Hey guys, it's Fake, and uh, <laughs> before anything, Tommy's here, as you could hear with his awkward sounds, because he's always nervous. I was young. But uh, I wanted to I apologize young. if there's any audio problems, because I am trying out the snowball for the first time. What? I'm using the third setting, which was like labeled as interviews and stuff, so I figured that would be good, but the first one's labeled like podcasts and stuff, so I really don't know which one to use. So, um, you know, just apologies for that. I am going to be talking about scary moments, specifically, um, basically Willis Towers sky box, sky deck, whatever it is. I'll explain that later. But, um, I am thinking about, like, vacation -y stuff since, you know, it's coming up, even though it's, like, three months away, but it's all is, all that is in my mind right now. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, basically, I was... In the car with relatives, we had just gone to like a graduation for my cousin, and one of my uncles says we're gonna go check out um, Sears Tower. And if you didn't know, apparently like three years ago or two, no, like three or four years ago, somebody bought Sears Tower and they renamed it to Willis Tower. People are very like split on what to call it. You know, some will get very angry if you're gonna call it Sears Tower. Some get very angry if you call it Willis Tower. In the end, just don't call it anything. <laughs> But basically, what I didn't know is that it's extremely high up, and they have this, like, glass box. And it's it literally has, like, nothing underneath it. It's just, like, a glass box that's just chilling on the side of it. And you look all around you, and it's just, like, the ground and the sky and all that stuff. And I have a massive fear of heights. <laughs> so I was really freaked out when they said that we were going to be taking a family photo in the box so on the screen you should be seeing a picture of me sitting down in the box it's kind of like a really close picture so i guess it's not that useful but it's all i had since i can't find my um i couldn't find my like family photo to scan but i have this one for now and that's probably like my scariest moment you know i don't really do well with heights um i tend to avoid like amusement parks partially just for that reason you know i don't like people so that's another reason for a music park um now we're gonna bring in Tommy and yeah. to see his opinion because he he allegedly does not have any scary moments in his life because he is fearless. But um, I can ask you like, what sort of things do you hate? Like, do you hate amusement parks? Because I know you hate people too. No, I love Six Flags. You love Six Flags? Yeah. yeah. What? But don't, doesn't it bother you like all the people? Like, maybe that's just me because I'm antisocial and stuff. But no, I'm kind of claustrophobic. But... You're kind of claustrophobic. Yeah, without with other people. Are you afraid of standing in lines with people? No, I'm afraid of spiders, though. You're afraid of spiders? Tommy's afraid of spiders, no, so afraid of spiders. Um, half of my days in class consists of sending him <laughs> pictures of spiders from um, a Tumblr called Adorable Spiders. And every page of my notebook has a spider drawn on it. I tend to draw spiders on his notebook, yes. You're a pedophile. Is there anything else? The, no, just just spiders. Why do you have your fear of spiders, though? Like, oh, wait, no, deep. Is water. there any traumatic moments? No, they are just creepy as hell. You're just creepy as hell? You never had, like, a scary moment, like, as a child? Yeah. Oh, really? maybe, well, maybe I did, but I don't remember. Like, I know, like, I'm afraid of bees, and the reason why is because I remember, like, one time we were at the beach, and, you know, extremely smart Daniel decided to be fun to bury a bee in sand. Yeah. Um, apparently, bees don't like being buried alive. I, you know, I, I, was, I was nice, and I unburied it, and it stung <laughs> me. <laughs> so, um, that's where my fear of bees came from. I don't know if you have anything like that. I'm allergic to bees. You're allergic to bees? Indeed. God damn, that sucks. I'm not allergic to anything. I'm allergic to grass. And You're allergic to grass. I bees. just, like, imagine, like, my mom told me that I was allergic to grass, but I'm not. No, God, I'm and, like, nice. when she first told me, I was really young, so I was like, I've rolled in the grass so many times. <laughs> so I just pictured, like, rolling in the grass and, you, like, fucking dying. Does it make you itchy? No. Oh. No, that's why, because I'm not, I'm not actually allergic to it. My mom said I was. So I just figured, like, if I rolled in the grass, I would die. So, I had, like, a very sad childhood for a while, I until I realized that I was not allergic to crap. Tumbling down hills. Oh, okay, I'm also allergic to the water. I'm, I'm afraid of deep water. 
or dark water. I'm afraid of deep water too, but I can swim. Not because of drowning, but just because of. I'm afraid like, of floating, technically. I'm afraid of like not knowing what's below me. It's kind of freaky. Can you float? I can. Float. I don't know how to float. Float like a starfish. I don't know how to float. Why? I don't. I just. Oh no! I don't know. I can float like if I'm on my back, but like like normally like standing up, floating people that stuff do like people do. I, I can't think, do that. I don't think people do that. They kind of kick their feet. Still. No, but they're like, tread, oh, hold your breath and crap, and you'll be like buoyant and stuff. And I can't do that. Oh, uh, I was about to say, hold your breath. Yeah, I can't do that. Maybe it's just because I'm tiny and I have no lungs. Daniel's tiny. Yeah, Tommy's tiny to Peter's. What? <laughs> so I wanted to use this gameplay as like an uncommentated gameplay because in the background I'm making Tommy cry. It's actually a really funny story because we're calling him pedophile and stuff, and he's crying. But um, are we gonna? Upload this is pretty much it. Are yeah. gonna upload it normally like that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload like this. I'm gonna show the people. Show the people? What, what screen crying sounds like? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, great gameplay. See ya, thank you for watching, and good. Uh, buy some raffles. Buy some raffles. Look at that, 25 and 2. What were you killed, Streak?